Shocking news, Bad Boys star Teresa Randall detained by LAPD. In a surprising turn of events, Hollywood actress Teresa Randall, best known for her role in the Bad Boys franchise, has found herself in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. The 59-year-old actor was recently detained by the Los Angeles Police Department, LAPD, following a suspected felony assault incident. This unexpected development has left fans and industry insiders alike in a state of disbelief. The incident unfolds. The story began to unravel on Saturday, October 5, 2024, when police were called to a residence in Los Angeles regarding a reported assault, 1, 3. However, by the time officers arrived at the scene, Randall had already left the location. This initial call set the stage for what would transpire in the following days. Two days later, on Monday, October 7, the situation escalated. Police received another call from the same residence, this time reporting a possible domestic dispute and a potential violation of a restraining order, 1, 2. When officers responded to this second call, they found Randall at the scene. It was at this point that she was taken into custody on suspicion of felony assault with a deadly weapon, in connection with the incident from October 5, 3. The arrest and its aftermath. According to law enforcement sources, Randall's demeanor during the arrest was far from cooperative. Reports suggest that she was irate during the booking process, adding another layer of complexity to an already tense situation, too. The actress was detained at 4.30 p.m. on Monday and subsequently booked later that day, free. She was held in custody until Wednesday, October 9, when she appeared in court. In an unexpected twist, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office decided not to pursue the case, leading to Randall's release, too, free. Legal Implications It's important to note that, technically, this incident does not qualify as an arrest under the California Penal Code. Since Randall was released without formal charges, her detention falls into a legal gray area, free. This distinction, while perhaps seeming minor to the general public, carries significant legal implications. The details surrounding the alleged assault remain vague. While it has been reported that Randall allegedly struck the victim, specifics about the nature of the assault and the identity of the victim have not been disclosed, free. The mention of a deadly weapon in the charges adds a serious dimension to the allegations, though the exact nature of this weapon remains unclear. Randall's Career and Recent Developments For many, Teresa Randall is synonymous with her role in the Bad Boys franchise. She portrayed Teresa, the wife of Detective Marcus Burnett, played by Martin Lawrence, in three installments of the popular action comedy series, 1. Her most recent appearance in the franchise was in Bad Boys for Life, released in 2020. However, Randall's connection to the Bad Boys series took an unexpected turn in 2024. It was announced that she would be replaced by actress Tasha Smith for the upcoming Bad Boys, Ride or Die, 1, 4. This recasting raised eyebrows and led to speculation about Randall's career and personal life. Concerns for Randall's well-being Even before this recent incident, there had been growing concern about Randall's well-being. Reports surfaced of a video circulating on social media, allegedly showing Randall on Los Angeles's Skid Row, 1. The footage, which was shared on Instagram, appeared to show a significant change in Randall's appearance and suggested she was using a walker. Roger Neal, Randall's former manager and publicist, confirmed to media outlets that the person in the video was indeed Randall, 1. This revelation only added to the growing concern among fans and industry professionals about the actress's current situation. A career in retrospect. Teresa Randall's journey in Hollywood has been a notable one. A Los Angeles native, she received training in both dance and acting before embarking on her professional career after graduating from Beverly Hills High School, 4. Her early years in the industry were spent working on music videos, television commercials, and local theater productions. Randall's film debut came in the late 1980s with minor roles in Made to Order and Near Dark, both released in 1987, 4. From there, her career flourished, 
leading to roles in significant productions such as Beverly Hills Cop 3 and Space Jam 2. However, it was her role in the Bad Boys franchise that truly cemented her place in Hollywood. The Impact on Randall's Future This recent incident raises questions about the future of Randall's career in Hollywood. While the charges were ultimately not pursued, the publicity surrounding the event could potentially impact her professional opportunities. The entertainment industry has become increasingly sensitive to personal controversies, and even unproven allegations can sometimes have lasting effects on an actor's career. Conclusion As this story continues to develop, many questions remain unanswered. The details of the alleged assault, the identity of the victim, and the circumstances leading to the incident are still unclear. Furthermore, the reasons behind the district attorney's decision not to pursue charges have not been made public. What is clear, however, is that this incident marks a significant moment in Teresa Randall's life and career. As fans and industry observers, we can only hope that this situation leads to positive changes and that Randall receives any support she may need during this challenging time. As we await further developments, this incident serves as a reminder of the complexities and pressures faced by those in the public eye. It underscores the importance of withholding judgment until all facts are known and highlights the need for compassion and understanding in these situations. The story of Teresa Randall's detention is still unfolding, and only time will tell what long-term impact this event will have on her life and career. For now, we can only watch and wait, hoping for the best outcome for all involved.